City of Hope is doing a lot to protect our patients when they come in for their appointments. First and foremost, you'll notice in front of the entrance to the building, we have screening stations. So we are requiring that every person who enters any building on the campus be screened. So you'll get your temperature taken, and then we will ask you a series of questions. Uh, once you pass by that, you're good to go for your appointment. The second thing that you'll notice is everybody is wearing a mask. We require anyone coming onto campus to be wearing a mask. Once you go through screening, if you need a new mask or you would like a new mask, we can give you an additional mask at that time. You'll also notice that many of the screeners and many of the staff in the clinics are wearing goggles or they're wearing a face shield. And that is to protect you and to protect them and it makes sure that nothing is going to get past that mask and expose you. The best thing that you can do to prevent COVID infection or any infection is to wash your hands, clean your hands on a regular basis. So you'll notice that we have far more hand sanitizing stations throughout the building than maybe we did when you were here the last time. So we encourage you to every time you walk by one, sanitize your hands. We also have hired some additional crew that are doing some extra cleaning. You'll notice when you get out of the car in front of the clinic that people are constantly cleaning the wheelchairs. So we have lots of people always paying attention to cleaning surfaces that anybody might have touched. And lastly, and probably the most difficult thing that we are doing, but it's to protect your health and be safe for you, is the fact that we have a no visitor policy. And that no visitor policy is not intended to punish anybody, but it's because we want to make sure that we keep you safe while you're here for your appointment. And if 10 other people have a visitor with them, that's 10 more people that you may be exposed to that you don't have to be. Now with that no visitor policy, I do want to encourage you to ask your providers to call your family member during the appointment and talk to them as if they are in the room. But we really need to stick with that no visitor policy for a while longer.